Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm ecstatic that the time has finally come for some well-to-do spring cleaning around this house. And let me tell you, I am embarrassed to show y'all this before of my son TJ's nursery and just how bad things have gotten in here. I wanted to take you guys along and show you how I managed to turn this messy space into a more calm, relaxing, and inviting area. And in turn, hopefully give you guys some motivation on how you can control your baby or child's clutter as well. In today's video, I'll be giving you guys just a few tips on how I've started to implement to save time and anxiety stressing over the clutter buildup. So if you have a little one's closet and drawers you've been putting off going through, now's the time to hop on up and clean with me. Let's do this, mama. So before we hop on into today's video, I wanted to let you guys know that I did decide to start the spring cleaning series here on my channel and I am so looking forward to getting this house in tip top shape for spring and bringing you guys along with me. Let me know down in the comments first if you guys have started your spring cleaning yet. The first tip that I have for controlling cutter is to totally trick out your child's closet. I mean, use every inch of space already available in your nursery by maximizing your closet storage. Little outfits are super short, so you wanna double your closet space by using a double hanging closet rod system, like having one rod on each side, or maybe even inserting a dresser into it like I did here. Or also, I implemented using this little Rubbermaid system that we put in where I have these shelving units so that I can store extra things like diapers and burp cloths and shoes and pretty much anything else that I desire. I decided that I would start off the room by doing a massive donation of clothes that are no longer needed or that TJ no longer fits, which brings me straight away into my second tip. And it's all about baby clothes. Is it actually baby clothes or is it baby clutter? When determining how many onesies you really need in each size or how many sleepers or how many special outfits for photos, there's a simple answer and it's however many will fit in the baby's dresser. You're going to be doing a lot of laundry as a new mom and plenty of it. So it's not like you need a month's worth of new outfits for your baby. Save your favorites and clear out the rest. There is a simple way to control baby clutter and stop it from taking over your home and your laundry pile will thank you too. If you've been given tons of bags of too big right now hand-me-downs, sort through them really quickly and store them away properly. My next tip is to toss the junk. Having a baby means that you're showered with gifts, but that doesn't mean you have to keep and love everything your cousin gave you. Take a picture of your kid wearing the item or playing with it, write them a thank you note, and put it in the outbound pile. As a parent, you need to constantly manage both the inflow and the outflow of the stuff in your space. So dedicate a bag or two for things that are no longer in active use, and once they're full, get them out. Store the items that you love that make the cut for a future child, but pass others along to a mom friend with different taste or just donate them. I'm honestly horrible at giving up clothes. We literally have boxes upon boxes of my daughter's old clothes in the garage, and I'm still coming to terms with the fact that we may not have any more children to add in, so I'm seriously holding on. Let me know down below if you too hoard your, all your child's belongings that they no longer fit or use. Some of the things in my son's room I just literally cannot come to terms with getting rid of and that is okay because I'm making the effort and that's all that matters. So 
So we have this rug in TJ's room that I purchased from Wayfair, but I never actually laid it down properly and it formed this super annoying lump in the middle that doesn't stick down. So my husband's just helping me to give it a flip and hopefully this solves the issue. I love this rug, but I'm so scared of the fact that it's white. Oh, let me know down below how long white things actually stayed clean in your kid's room or if you were even brave enough to try a bright color like white to begin with. I remember when I was coming up with the theme for this room, I absolutely fell in love with it and this quickly became one of the favorite rooms in our entire house. So I am so happy that we're finally getting it back in order and my son and I can really hang out in here and just really enjoy each other's time and I can just feel really happy with the space that I've created. I hope that you guys are doing well on your cleaning and I hope that you guys are up cleaning with me or I hope that this is giving y'all major inspiration and motivation to tackle some of those spring cleaning goals that you have for this year. Make sure that if you're not already, you follow me over on my Instagram and if you guys do do any cleaning or tap to cleans, make sure to tag me so that I can share them. I absolutely love it when you guys get inspiration from my cleaning videos. So I picked up this rolling cart from Ikea and this used to be in our master bedroom because it held all of my breastfeeding supplies but I've recently weaned completely so now I thought that it would work in baby's room to just help organize some of those things that I'm constantly grabbing and going at like bibs, uh, burp cloths, all of their toiletries like TJ's little brush, his thermometer, lotions, baby powder, stuff like that. I love having this little kit right here to just grab and go with the quick essentials that I always need. My very last tip for you moms today is to recognize that you can't keep it all under control all the time and that's okay. This is a time for simplicity and grace and enjoying your baby. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope that you would consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos in this spring cleaning series. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.